Hi everybody, I'm Lori with Behavior Education and this is Tau Seti from Reach Out Reptiles. Today is Sunday, October 20th, 2019. Welcome to this edition of Super Dwarf Sundays. This edition of Super Dwarf Sundays is gonna be a little bit different. Tau Seti just ate dinner. He just ate a rat pup and so he's not going to be coming out of his enclosure. I had him out of his enclosure earlier this week and you are gonna to get to see that in the following video. It was a little bit interesting because TC was very relaxed in this video that you're gonna see when I first took him out of his enclosure. In fact, he came out of his enclosure on his own. I held him for a few minutes. I took him into the other room and he was very relaxed at first and then he started to exhibit some tension and a little bit of anxiety and yellow zone behaviors, which then started to borderline on the red zone behavior, which is extremely tight coiling around my arm and anchoring around me with his tail. And then I got him to relax a little bit. I weighed him and then my husband let the dogs in and I didn't know that was gonna be happening and that got TC pretty upset again. And so I put him immediately back into his enclosure. You're gonna to get to see that process for this week's Super Dwarf Sunday. Then you're gonna to get to see TC safe and sound and relaxed back in his enclosure in his favorite place, which is his shelf. And then you're just gonna to get to see a little footage of TC tonight, right after he ate. So I hope you enjoy this episode of Super Dwarf Sundays. And until next time, everybody love your animals and we will see you next Sunday. Thank you. I just filmed the intro for this week's Super Dwarf Sunday. And you weren't out here with me to be in it. So say hi to everybody. TC says hi, and we will see you next week for another episode of Super Dwarf Sundays. That shelf right there is TC's favorite spot, and it's where he feels safest. And when he's on that shelf, we do not bother him. Although right now he's all coiled up, and he looks like he's going to strike at the camera which could be a possibility since he just ate and he might think that he's going to get a second food item, but you're not. So go to bed, rest and digest, and I'll see you tomorrow, TC. So he's not coiled around me, but he is hanging on to my arm towards security. And he's moving in a slow fashion, just sort of cautiously investigating his environment. And he does have his tail anchored around my thumb. So right now I would say he is exhibiting a combination of green zone and yellow zone behavior. He is definitely outside of his comfort zone, but not a great deal outside of his comfort this behavior is telling me that he's slightly uncomfortable, but he's not completely so. All right, TC. That's a good boy. Can we weigh you, do you think? I wanted to weigh him before he eats this weekend to see how he's doing growth-wise. Remember the episode where I was trying to teach TC a station on the scale? We have not worked on that at all anymore, so I'm not sure that he's going to do it tonight. What we ended up doing during that episode was putting TC on a tub, and we weighed him on the tub because that was something that he was comfortable with. And just the way he's acting, I doubt that he is going to stay on this scale when I put him on there. This behavior where he is wrapping my arm is showing, is a little bit of a yellow zone behavior. It's behavior that he's doing to feel more comfortable because he's outside of his comfort zone. 
what green zone behavior would look like if he was just draped casually on my arm and he wasn't constricting or wrapping it at all. He's wrapping it quite tightly, which tells me that he's uncomfortable with the situation, that he's not 100% secure. Okay. What would happen if I set you on the scale? Now the fact that he's anchoring on me and not trying to get away to another location means that he feels safe around me but just the fact that he's wrapping and anchoring means that he's uncomfortable in general with what's going on. 172 grams. All right. Here come. Come in. Okay, so my husband let the dogs in and now he sees clearly uncomfortable. And I'm going to cut this short and take him back into the snake room where he can go back into his enclosure.